Today we're binging our friends, casting spells on the Kindle, and bracing ourselves for the return of the browser wars. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Microsoft's Bing search engine now includes Facebook integration. When you search for something on Bing, a site panel will pop up showing which of your friends might help you with your search. Say if you're looking up hotels in Chicago, it'll point out friends that live in Chicago. Of course, Microsoft isn't the only one bringing social into search. Just recently, Google did a similar move, throwing Google Plus comments into search results. But that's not the only news today from Microsoft. The company is stirring up the browser wars again, preventing Firefox or any other other browser to run on Windows RT. Now, Windows RT is the light version of Windows 8 that you'll see on low-powered tablets and smartphones. Firefox and Google are crying foul, saying this restricts consumer freedom of choice and competitive innovation. Microsoft just argues, hey, we want the best experience on these systems and only Internet Explorer can provide it. And now, Facebook has an app store. Well, it's more like an app showcase. You see, Facebook is launching a hub that features apps, but it'll just direct you to buy those apps off Apple's or Google stores. If developers create an app for HTML5, that's not for any specific device, they'll be able to sell it right on Facebook. So why is Facebook promoting apps? Because the more apps you use, the more information Facebook can gather about your habits, and that's more data it can offer to advertisers. And in other news we're watching, Amazon Prime subscribers will be able to get the whole Harry Potter series through the Kindle owner's lending library starting June 19th. It costs $80 a year to access that library and all the perks of Amazon Prime. Nintendo dropped the price of the DSi to $100, and the DSi XL also dropped to $130. The prices take effect May 20th. Dish Network announced that its new Hopper DVR system will be able to skip commercials with a feature called Auto Hop. It'll skip commercials recorded during primetime shows in HD from the four major networks. I'm sure networks are thrilled at the news. And today we're talking about the Google Plus app for iOS. It just got a major design overhaul and it puts a big focus around photos. That's right, Google released a brand new version of the Google Plus app to Apple users before Android. How scandalous. Android folks, you'll be getting a version in a few weeks and it should have a few more features than the iPhone version. That's your tech news update for today. Stay updated on all the latest news at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.